Vlog day 90. So let's talk about how I got here today. Because people keep asking, and if I'm gonna talk about where I wanna go, I should probably talk about, you know, how it is I came to be here. You're ridiculous. So I've been getting questions along two lines that have been pretty consistent. The first is, what the heck have you been doing with your life? I subscribed to you when you were living in Paris, and now you're in Spokane slash on an island? That led to a lot of questions about, how the heck did you get to this island? What are you doing there? So I'll do like a draw your life thing soon. That, that's been requested multiple times, and I'd like to do it. But for today, let's just talk about how I got to the island. So about six years ago, I joined an organization called Mercy Ships. They run the world's largest private charity hospital ship off the coast of Western Africa, predominantly. And then they give free surgery away to people who can't afford it otherwise. We like the world's tiniest sandwich. Oops. And Mercy Ships does some really incredible work. You should look them up. I think probably the best one to look up would be the 60 Minutes piece that was done a couple years ago. I was on the ship at the time, it was in Togo. Uh, but I wasn't working with media yet, so I didn't get to work with them, unfortunately. The surgeries that we do are life-altering, and sometimes life-saving. And as with many work cultures, there's a tendency for a lot of people to push themselves a little bit too hard for too long. And I'm definitely no exception to that rule. So it was during this time that I actually ended up working in Paris with Mercy Ships. My boss, Bryce, would become a good friend of mine because it's pretty much impossible not to become friends with Bryce because he's just pretty much generally amazing. <sighs> Bryce is the one that built this place. The plan is for this to be a resort for humanitarians who are on the verge of burning out. It's called Eden Rest. The goal is that for people who have been in the field for a long time and who are really stressed out and working a little bit too hard, they can come here and refresh before they, you know, crash and burn. Anyways, I got what was probably my favorite job ever. Media liaison on the ship, which meant I was working with all the international media that came to the ship. And I ran with it. Hard. I was working like 15 hour days, 6 to 7 days a week. And pretty much didn't stop doing that for about 5 months. I actually thought I was working less until somebody came in and filled in for me for a week for two weeks, and she clocked herself in at 70 hours a week, conservatively, and was stunned. And before that, I'd been telling people I was working like 60 hours a week, so I was working somewhere in that range, like 70 to 80. I, I really don't know. Also, I discovered cheese sticks here last night, which are delicious, but they're out. forget, I was doing this for five months, and at the same time I was in kind of a semi-romantic relationship that was eating away at me from the other side, which I don't recommend. All that to say that by the time I came in for my landing, my wheels weren't down and I crashed pretty hard. And then, for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to take a travel job back in the States. So I ended up living in hotels and airports for the next couple of years and ended up pretty isolated as well. So the gist of the story? Basically, I worked myself to death over the course of a few years in West Africa, and I still haven't fully recovered, even today. Ah, and then as soon as you get the washing hung, yeah, that'll dry really quick. Great. I love rainstorms. I mean, I want it to rain pretty much every day while I'm here. 
It's not right after I got all of my laundry hung out to dry. I literally just finished. So anyways, that's how I ended up in the Caribbean paying no rent and just kind of hanging out in the house. The last couple of years have been pretty rough to be honest, but they've had some amazing highlights. It's been really good. And uh, this is definitely one of them. It's really great to be. I can't even see the other island. The rain is that thick over there right now. And then just... So I'm basically just hoping my time here will help clear my head. I mean, I, I came here so that I could focus on work, hopefully write some. I'm finding it difficult to focus with the heat and the bugs sometimes, but what are you gonna do? The rainstorm is perfectly timed. That there's, you can't plan that. <laughs> right as I finished, like right as I was like putting up the last three pieces, I was like, oh man, yeah. These are gonna dry probably the next few. Oh, what is that? Is that rain? Oh my goodness. I mean, having this much time to yourself just to spend thinking, when you're not working at least, can mess with you in its own ways, for sure. <sighs> My clothes are never gonna dry. Ferry snuck up on me, which means I gotta pretty much run to get there. It always toots its horn right when it comes around the corner, right by the dock, which does me no good because I need it to toot its horn when it's like 15 minutes away. Perfect time for a rain shower. Uh, I can't imagine a better time for this. Ah, it's so refreshing. The downhill stretch is easier, but not any drier. How's it going? I needed my exercise anyways, but running in vans is not what I was after. Also, my left foot does not like this. Ow! How's it going? Going all right, Owen? Sure. Be some more, remember? <sighs> yeah, for sure. Desmond, right? Yeah, man. Thank you, sir. 